Hey guys, how's it going? It's LDR and Nerd again today, and we're going to be playing some more Metal Gear, and we're on chapter 13, I think, or episode 13, <clears throat> and we're going to be doing Pitch Dark. I didn't know the other mission that I was going to be doing would have been a lot longer, plus also my failed attempts and whatever, but yeah, I forgot that it probably would have been super long, so while you guys have been gone, uh, I've been playing a little bit. Just leveling up other equipment to make some of these missions run a lot quicker. So I found out, if none of you guys know, <coughs> in your item menu, or support weapon menu, there is these mines. And pretty much what they are is, um, let me see, where are they? Sleep hand grenade... East on whatever. Where where is it? I forget where I put it. Because I was using them for one mission. Oh wait, no, they're not in throwable. Sorry, they're in placed. Uh yeah, so there is the LLG mine where you can like knock people out, and then there's this one where a special mine that uses powerful electronic uh whatever that uh <coughs> that captures vehicles, so yes, there is flute and mines in this game. So, I feel a little bit done, because I didn't know that. For me, I always did it the hard way of just straight up doing it, so we're just gonna start it now. <coughs> but yeah, no, I completely forgot that that was a thing, because, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, oh, excuse me, no, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I, I should have known, but like for me, it's like how I usually make shit on here. It's just whatever I can do. Make, 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 make. <clears throat> That's pretty much how I do that. See, so yeah, and now we're doing pitch dark. I think I've done this mission already. Like yesterday. Like flying through it. Came from Intel. The target is Angola. Yeah, okay, I did this yesterday. Upstream from the landing point. As Bill has covered the whole area and crude. A pipeline that crosses the Muneni River failed, and now the shore's a mess. Not to mention the villages downstream have no drinking water. But yeah, um, I did this mission yesterday. So I'm going to be able to just run straight through it. The oil runs to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mathinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. Then the rebel group United moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. United's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the brokers of front company, Cyphers, keeping tabs on United and tell us who's pulling its strings. Yeah, so pretty much what we're doing, we're stopping these people at, these oil, or at this oil field. So, uh, we're, we're pretty much blowing it up, like, we're doing, like, environmental terror- like, terrorist type shit. So, like, that- that's pretty cool, I guess. That's step one to tracking down Skullface. And Cypher with him. Good luck, boss. Damn, since it's fucking dark as shit. First, make your way to the oil facility. It's to the north. Yamasa. The village is currently occupied by Unida. The war industry we started has taken a pretty crooked course these past nine years. But no other options. Soldiers have become dogs of war. Sent to conflict zones as private forces. Or PFs. The guys we fought alongside are dying all around the globe for no reason. No banner. But it's how they survive. The demand for PFs here in Africa is especially high. Cold War standoffs, resource exploitation. We've arrived at Masa Village. It's been turned into a supply hub for Unida, meaning it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Should be a thing or two that'll come in handy. Don't be shy. They deserve to be in better hands. 
has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. So I found out a way to combat the the the, 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 the devil complete. snake meter. If you save child soldiers and you don't kill people and do shit, that's how you can also um, what do you call it? Combat your devil meter. Or not devil meter, devil meter, demon meter. Same shit, pretty much. Um, yeah, that's how you can combat it and make sure that, like, you're not gonna be going full demon mode. You gotta extract him. Analysis complete. Because it's hard to come back from full demon mode. Right now, I'm gonna try to save all the child soldiers. If I can. If I can't, I can't, so. Uh, what was I thinking? Sleep grenades. And then I'll get quiet to take out a couple of these dudes just because. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And also, too, see uh, what I did right there that also did make me um, lose a couple of points, but it doesn't matter because later in the game you get a. a child, whatever. Thing where like yeah, where you can like uh, get them and then they can help support you pretty much. There I do it. Nice. First time I did it. Analysis complete. Also, too, I'm using quiet quite a lot just to honestly run through this. Ooh, look at him, he's an S rank. Ooh, baby, you're coming with me. You're not an S plus, but hey, man, you're an S rank. Also, I think there's a blueprint around here. I'm not for certain, but I do think there is someone around here. And I actually, you know, the funniest thing about that, like, from me trying to capture the child soldiers this time, I actually never was able to catch them because they wouldn't see me, or, um, it'd just be pretty shitty. Like, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Like, I had a really bad luck with that. Analysis complete. He ain't even that great. I would like to get that guy because he's an A++, but we'll see how it goes. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go. Also... Coming up to the next place where we're going to, I think there's some rough diamonds. He's coming too. Not here, like not where I'm standing right now. Like I just think there's uh, materials and other shit in here. But uh, I'm sure there's no rough diamonds in here. I think there might. Oh, there we go. There we go. I found some rough diamonds right there. <laughs> and buy a big stack of uh, fucking materials here. And I think in the the next camp up past here, I think you can find some more shit. You made it past the village. So the also facility. too, I need to check and see because that was one of the missions that I needed to do. 
How do I check that? There we go. Extracted or Ulf, Child Soldiers. Exfiltrate in the Hod Zone before... Uh, before it was sealed off. Extract. Uh, with Vulture. Wandering in the burned out village. Extract four Walker Gears. Uh, after sealing off, whatever. Okay, so th those are... Those are things I'm probably not gonna do. Uh, like, right now for this. Maybe I'll look for the burn, because I, I think I know where the burnt out village is. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Perfect. Get Analysis him because complete. he's actually ain't, ain't half bad. Missing every shot like a pro. So what's he good at? Ooh, he's good at engineering. Good for you, guy. Good for you. And then we'll just walk past that guy, because there's honestly no need to grab him. Except for that guy. Hey there. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. We'll grab you, why not? And then I'll knock you out. Just to get the heroism. So another thing like I'll say, you can probably cut through like straight across and run through there, but for me, I'm gonna take a U-turn and see if I can find through. that uh that. that one thing in the burnt out village. Extraction of the oil field is the property of Sainer, South African natural resources. Sainer drills oil wells wherever they can throughout that region. And when the oil dries up, they abandon the facility. Then it's only a matter of time before the aging equipment starts leaking crude. That means United's takeover is the perfect cover for Saner. Now they can blame the spill on a bunch of oil thieves. However you look at it, Saner's far from squeaky clean. I think I know where the burnt out village is. I think it's along this road somewhere. Because I, I, I don't think there's a, uh, what do you call it? Like, I don't think there's a map indication that it, there's, there, there, there it is. <laughs> I think that you just have to, like, run along this road far enough and then you can find it. That, or if you have D-Horse, you can just take him and, you know, go through here. Ooh. Ooh. I think those are donkeys. Why not? Pick them up. Take them for the petting zoo. That fucking mother base, because man, when you get a lot of animals in there, it's crazy. Oh, I think I found that. I think I found that thing I'm looking for. There it is. That used to be a settlement. Now it's burned to the ground. There we go, another mission, so. Any type of bird you see there, just go grab it, pick, pick them up, and then keep on going. Oh, what the? Oh, wait, that's fire. Oh, yeah, it's burning. Sorry, I looked a little weird because I had my night vision on. 
Yeah, no, it's, it, it's, uh, what that's supposed to be, it's like, oh, it was, like, recently burned down. So, yeah, now we can cut through there. The walker gear thing, I don't really see myself doing. Maybe. Honestly, it depends. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There it is. The oil facility. They stopped the leak. You need to shut down the oil transfer pump and destroy the oily water separator tank. So, okay, now I, I chill the fuck out and... Because, because now we're getting into the area where we can actually get, like, caught pretty quickly. Like, right now. That was bad. I got caught right off the bat. I usually get caught in this area, folks. So. It's because I do shit like that. So... Yeah, sorry that this isn't, like, perfect. Like, I know all the spawns and everything where people are gonna be and all that. At least, uh, fucking Wyatt's here. Fuck me, I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. Perfect, there we go. The good thing is too, it's like it isn't it isn't a loss that that this happened. Like thankfully for me it's like I can just go in here, do what I gotta do. I could have did that like way better too, like that's the big problem. He's coming too. Roger that. C4 right here. Destroy that separator tank. You'll need to use explosives. I always carry C4. That's a stupid question. Don't set it off until you're at a safe distance. Good. You're away from the C4. Any sign of the enemy? And for me, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save blowing that up at, at another time. Because I'm gonna sneak in there and do the other objective, too. It's actually nice and clear. I say that, and then I'm probably gonna die. Fucking bet you. Like how she's so much better at doing that. It's actually kind of infuriating. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Alright, let me reload. Let me reload. Kill it. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Uh. Analysis complete. 
Analysis complete. You gotta extract him. What is one away from now? Stay down. Fuck it, I'll just pick up who's around me. It don't even matter. So, I think you were the one. I, I don't. They, it don't matter. It don't matter right now where I'm at. Just pick up everybody. Make it a little easier on yourself. And there we go. Shit like a boss. There's the transfer pump control room. The emergency. <sighs> that and plus another reason why I wanted to do this because we get a nice cutscene. A nice cool looking cutscene. Cutscene from cuts or cutscene to cutscene now. <sighs> That's why I wanted to do it that way. You know, like try going over there first, but I fucked up because like also too like the outfit that I'm wearing, like this the sneaking outfits are really good. Like you pay for like no no hearing of footsteps and whatever. But the bad thing about it is what I can definitely tell you is um any other environment you're gonna be seen. Like, that's just how it is, you're really gonna be seeing. Destroy the separator tank. Objectives complete. Though security will be tighter after that explosion. Get out of there ASAP. Also another shitty thing about this is too is that I don't got a lot of ammo. Analysis complete. So I might skip the other challenge. Here, I think we can just go. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a quick look. Extract five Walker gears, and then um, exfiltrate the hot zone uh, before before it was before it's sealed. I might get two challenges for the price of one <laughs> because I was quick enough. Analysis complete. I'd like to see if any of these people Analysis are actually complete. worth. See, if my sniper had, like, the silencer still there, I would go, f like, fucking full, full force on these dudes, but... Analysis I don't need complete. any more walker gears. Analysis complete. Yeah, you know what, that's fine. We're just gonna bail. 
Boss, I just got a report from the intel team. An enemy unit is en route to the hills. Looks like they mean to hunt you down. Yeah, 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 shut up. Analysis complete. There we go, perfect. Not really, Analysis not really perfect complete. at all. I, sh I shouldn't have Analysis even got caught complete. that time, because the other funny thing is, like, well, to me, what I think it is, like, what happens to a lot of other Let's Players, you're crunched for a time. That's the thing. Half the time people record things like this, people only watch like the four minutes, like they skim through and they're like, okay, see so this is how the person did it. So it's like, man, you are just crunched for time. And it sucks, like it really does, because like for me, I, I try to like, you know I, I try to at least like not keep constantly fucking up. Like to me I think like my limit is five fuck ups and then I'll actually like cut it out. And, and a lot of other people do differently, where it's like, you know, do three times and you're, you're whatever, because, uh, you know, it's quicker that way. But for me, I, I, I yeah, have the... Exfiltrated. That's it. You made it out of the hot zone. No there we go, the fucking dogs. There we go. <laughs> Got him. And my dudes are still leveling up. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. All right, mission complete, boss. Maybe you'll actually break a sweat next time. Okay, yeah, I didn't do half bad. I'm just getting straight up octopus, and that's fine. Cause, uh, yeah, no, that's it's a fine rank. Boss, we took another look into Sainer, the owner of the oil field. They were behind what happened. They hired the PF, not United. They restarted the facility all the while pretending they were the victims. One other thing, Sainer's Johannesburg head office is just a room in a multi-tenant building. Company's essentially non-existent. Three years ago, that investment fund stepped in and started gutting it through a series of mergers and sell-offs, and get this, the fund itself no longer exists either. It's a shell corporation. Meaning someone is just using Sainer's name from the shadows. But what about those strange corpses? Just what the hell were they doing over there? They were doing biological tests on people. Oh, what a great name. Bastard Wallaby. What a good name. Look at that guy. He looks so cool. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. Look at that, I got a shit ton of legendary soldiers. Thunder Rain. Cool. I always like seeing myself get some legend or like some legendary soldiers and stuff. <clears throat> because it's cool. That being or like getting that buff and shit's pretty nice too. So yeah, now we're gonna return to the uh ACC and then we're gonna do another mission. So what's the next mission I should do? Alright, you know, maybe I'll show off the gun customization because I honestly felt like customizing a gun. So yeah, here's the gun customization. For me, honestly, I don't really even use like the SMGs or whatever. Like that that's when I did want to try using the ride SMG, but honestly I just didn't see myself going any further with using it, because I forget what it uses. Oh yeah, it uses rubber bullets, and I think this gun gets subsided with your, um, what do you call it? It, it gets subsided with a different gun, but like you can get like really in depth with the customization, and you can make your guns look really cool. But yeah, you gotta just keep leveling it up too. Like I don't know, I guess I'll like go through here and like maybe, yeah, you know, maybe take that off. Combat flash, flash laser. Oh yeah, and then you can do just individually, like that. 
And that's what I always thought was pretty cool about this. Yeah, you know, I think I like how that looks. That looks pretty cool. So if I ever want to, like, actually go and use that, I can. And, uh... I wouldn't mind making a good shotgun that is... Let me see. That's a good slug-based shotgun that knocks people out. then mess with the color a bit and see you can have your plain colors and then you can have these ones where you make it look really cool so for me for me uh, I like making my guns like blue you know just to be like hey this is a uh yeah like th this shot or this sawed off shotgun is a knockout shotgun instead of like one that would kill somebody there we go and yeah like that's pretty much a customization like you can get like really in depth and everything else let me see can I level up my facilities combat unit Sure, we'll make a bigger platform for that because I'm locked for everything else. And then the next one I think I can do when I have enough money will be the combat platform. And see, like I'm, I'm actually able to level up a lot of this stuff now, so I should just start doing that because I forgot how to like level all that shit up. And there's FOB shit, and for me, I just don't care about FOB. I made sure to turn myself, like, offline for that, just because I'm not a big fan of playing the FOB missions. Because it's just annoying. Like, th that's the biggest thing about the FOB missions. It's like, let's say, hey, I didn't come on for, like, a couple of days. Then, hey, guess what? My Your shit just got invaded. And you lose everything. So, it, it's really... It's really garbage that way, because, um, like, I, I see what they tried to do. They tried to make it where they they want you to constantly get on every day. So it's like, every day you come home, boom, keep checking, keep checking, keep checking. Because uh, people can go in and steal your shit. Like, it's a cool function, but I'm happy that they had a section where you could just turn it off. Because for me, I just waited for the actual online to come out for this game when, you know, when it was, like, when this was way beforehand. Because this is, like, a year recording, like, after. And it's and it's pretty good. Like, the online's good. I can't complain. I can't say it's not, like, good. One of these prisoners is the rescue target, a guy known as the Viscount. The target's location is unknown, but they're bound to have an interpreter present when they interrogate him. Oh, okay, so it's this mission. Okay, let me see if I've done anything else for this. Okay, extract materials from a container and camp or whatever, and then listen to all four prisoner interrogations. And that takes forever. <laughs> but I'm probably gonna try to do that this time, I guess. Like the other one I can see myself doing if I know where, where to go. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Yes, there's our man. And also, this is where we can learn Africanese. Even though that sounds fucking hilarious saying that. Af Africanese. Africanesian, is that what that said? I, I don't know, it sounds fucking ridiculous. But, yeah, that, that's where you can get this guy so say if it's like hey you can't get any information this is the guy that you're gonna be capturing for me I'm gonna try to save the prisoners because 
because oh my god look at that guy he's a double ass oh my god look at you That's another thing I forgot to say. Yeah, you will not be able to interpret or like interrogate these guys because you don't have this fucking dickhead right here. And I'm forced to save him. That's the other thing. So he's gonna keep, keep walking with these guys. Keep on walking with these guys. Good, I got him. Okay, where are they coming over? Okay, I'm not gonna grab those containers yet. Grab them after, I won't grab them yet though. these goddamn containers right now. Look at that dude, that dude's just like, what the fuck just happened there? Oh, whatever, you're good. Pick him up. Okay, they didn't see a thing, I hope. <laughs> I love it, keep an eye out for a suspicious person. go. Perfect. Pick that guy up. I think they're waiting for that one guy who I didn't like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or is he just gonna sit there? Cool, I got a suppressor. Yeah, 
Oh, there we go. I found a rough diamond, too. Look at that. I don't know what we're just waiting for, but... Extraction arrived at Mother Base. I guess that's what we're waiting for. Is is that honestly what we're waiting for? It's wait, listen to all for fuck it. You know what? <laughs> because honestly, people, this shit takes too long. <laughs> like, I'm I'm dead serious. Complete. It's like, are they even moving? No, they're just, they're sitting there. Oh man, I'm really, uh... Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Like, are they moving now? Like, what are you two doing? You're just, you're sitting there, just looking at each other. Look at them. I forgot they carry him over. I forgot they just carry him over. I completely forgot. I love that. With that panic, these people are gonna die, and it's like, man, I'm good. Look at me, I just saved all these people. It's like, man, this is all they were gonna be doing. Just, just sitting here doing nothing. I'm gonna pick him up anyways. So why not? Yeah, so pretty much that's what this mission would have been. It's like, you're sitting here waiting to listen to these guys' conversation. Fuck me, Mr. Okay, we're out of here. We're out of here. We did we did what we needed to do. Alright, that's the interpreter extracted. All you need to do now is exfiltrate the hot zone. Thank you, quiet. Yeah, it's just this shit takes, like, too fucking long. Like, that, that's a reason why... Oh, oh my god, okay. Yeah, that's a reason why I don't just want to sit here and do this, because, like, legit, like, they would just, um... They would drive from, I think, prisoner camp, the prisoner thing. Like, getting... Or, like, talking to them, so... It's, it's honestly, like, I'm, I'm good with that. We're just gonna save them. We'll show you how I did it the quick way, instead of the long, annoying way. Oh yeah, that's how I'm talking about. Look at that. Love that. I was on two wheels for him and I was sick. <laughs> Yes, 
Mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Now I'll take fucking octopus again. Not like I won't. Boss, one of the other British prisoners filled us in about the Viscount. It turns out he's a real two-faced son of a bitch. He was planning to secure the MPLA's oil field rights for himself in exchange for swapping the CFA's alliance from the anti-government United Rebels to the state-backed MPLA. He hid this from the Afrikaners, but once he thought the jig was up, he tried to pin it on the other British personnel and take off. The Afrikaners captured him, and that was when he asked us to rescue him, and only him. I'll throw him in the brig for now, but we may have to be extra persuasive with this one. By the way, boss, we got some interesting news out of our friend the Viscount. He mentioned that more than a few PFs in the region have purchased walker gears. The CFA is the same. That's Soviet army technology, and it's still a prototype. Only Cypher could be leaking it to the PFs. But the question is, why? Okay, we can just skip all those other people, because, yeah. Just a little quicker, because, you know, it's it's like, man, you, just, you got some pretty good people. So, let me see, what's the next mission we gotta do? Because for my new setup, too, I don't think it shows me how long I've been actually recording, so... Yeah. Let's see, what what mission was that? I think that was like pitch dark. Please select a mission. I oh, know that wasn't pitch dark, it was that one. Yep, save three prisoners, listen to all four prisoners interrogations. Yeah, that was the one that I just did. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do this one. Uh, Footprints of, of fa uh, fan Phantoms, I think that's what that says. Yeah, Footprints of Phantoms. And then I'll end the episode. Because this one's really easy, too. It's just go in, destroy the walker gears, and then go out. And that's probably what I'm going to do this time, because every time I've done this mission, I have only... Uh, what I only do? Uh, what I only did on here was... So, like kept care like getting them so it's like I have a shit ton of walker gears like all saved up I got like a bunch of tanks and like all this other stuff so like I don't need my I, I don't need that vehicle I just picked up either <clears throat> so uh, let me see yeah that's pretty much it we, we, we got everything we need And this mission is also, it's just like, yeah, we just, we need, we need to make sure people don't keep getting walker gears. Because they are really annoying to, to deal with and fight with. Like, unless if you're, like, blowing them up or anything else, and it's, like, really easy. But for me, like, trying to stealth by them, they can be kind of annoying, because they kind of, like, roam and frolics. So it's like, they, there will be, like, a bunch of them just around. And a lot of this game, too, is, like, you pick up missions here, you pick up missions here. Like, compared to, like, the old Metal Gears, what I honestly liked a lot more was, um... Like, the, the mission things are fun, it's just I wish they had more to do, because these are main stories to me. They feel like more of a side quest. And that's the only, like, disappointing part about it, is that... You know, it's, it's sad when your game feels like a big side quest. I don't know. It, it, it's just being an old Metal Gear fan. It's like you can see the flaws of this game. Be careful down there, boss. Same as a bad game. It's just, you can definitely see the flaws. That's why I'm just, like, really, really, really not excited for, uh... What was it? Uh, yeah, it was like Metal Gear Solid Survive. 
I think I talked about that like last episode too. But still, it's something I can say for for being being a fan of the originals. Like I'm I'm really just not impressed with what what they're thinking that would be uh, like what people would want. Cause cause honestly, we we saw how how fucking bad uh, Umbrella Corpse was. And honestly, too, if Konami had a smart bone in their body, they'd probably just be like, no, let's work with a different IP. Or, you know, like, let, let's just do something different instead of, like, hey, we're gonna try to, like, you know, bring in Metal Gear again and then just shit on the franchise. Because, it like, to me, how I feel like Metal Gear was dead after, like, 4. Even though I'm playing 5. Like, five, 5 wasn't bad, it was just like, you could just tell, like, there, it, it, there, there feels like there's so much that's, like, not here, that should be here. That That's honestly why I didn't win Game of the Year. One of the big reasons. That and also, too, it was kind of an unfair, uh, it, it was unfair for Metal Gear. That, oh shit, look at that man right there. He's a fucking rank S on that one thing that I just upgraded. Yeah, it's a very, it, it was kind of a very unfair uh, thing because The Witcher was just better than MGS5. Like, not saying MGS5 is bad, it's just like, you, you can just, like, it, it was kind of unfair to even put it up there. Like, at least it was, like, nominated for Game of the Year. But, like, to me, it's like I knew for a fact that Metal Gear wasn't gonna win. Also, to, to, to cut away from shitting on Metal Gear Solid 5. Pretty much what this is, this is a side mission thing. All you gotta do is just pick her up and then make her fly. I've, I've done it already, but I'm just kind of showing you guys what to do for it. Because a lot of people that, that I talked to were friends of mine, they were like, Man, where's this vehicle? Like, where where is it? Like, where's the truck? It's like, it's right in front of you, pretty much. <laughs> like, it's right there. But yeah, I don't know. Also, too, for being like a fan of an old game, it's like you kind of wished more. And that's how I feel about this game. Like, to me, the, the things I feel they did right about this game were free roam and a lot of other shit. E even though some people would hardcore disagree with me. For a Let's Player's standpoint, to be honest with you, it's really awesome that you can do this. Because, like, with Metal Gear Solid 4, I wouldn't be able to like, let's say, hey, play and just do shit. Like, th that honestly isn't how Metal Gear Solid 4 is. It's mission-based. And yeah, that's just honestly how it is. Like, it, that game wasn't mission-based, but it was way better than this. Sadly, it was way better than this. One thing I do want to try is uh, picking up a cat, because I, I can hear cats around here, I've actually just never been able to catch one. Do, do I have the animal crate? No, I don't. Okay. Well... Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I think I get more money for even, like, picking this up, so... I lose money, but I get more in the long run. So... Oh, 
must work. You never cease to amaze, boss. Also, too, just that I like that to also come back to that. A lot of things Konami's been doing wrong. It was like canceling PT, like just a lot of the things that they were doing has just been not good in general. And and honestly for anybody too, like it's it's just been really disappointing. And there's nothing you can really do about that because, you know, you're just the fans and you have to just sit there and just, you know, watch something good not come to be. And it sucks, like, because, you know, you get the hype going because you're just like, oh, hey, man. Like, this game looks awesome. You can't wait to record that. Guess what? Nope. You ain't gonna be recording shit. I can't believe he still caught me. Not fine. You yeah, know what? We're just gonna, gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna get the fuck out of here now. That's the way. Yeah. I, okay. I was about to say. I was like, "Come on, man! I had to take care of that." Also, another thing that I was going to say was there are prisoners around the camp, and I think there's one, like, right right around this area, there's one right here, and then, um, I think there's one at the top, but since I have them already, there's honestly no need for me to try grabbing them again, because to me it would just be a waste of space. And I got everything here, so... And then I pick up a plant at a village, and is that the village? I don't know what plant I'm looking for. And I'm probably not gonna do it too, since I'm on high alert. Yeah, fuck, let's go. We're just gonna bail. Cause we pretty, like, that, that was honestly the best thing that I've done. I've stealthed through that and did that. That's one of the best things I've done. So we're just gonna we're gonna bail out. There we go. Cool. You've made it out of the hot zone. No sign of the enemy. Mission complete, boss. So yeah, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my friend today. And right after this cutscene, I'll see you guys in the next one. Because I think there will be a cutscene. Like, you know, there's going to be talking at the end of the mission. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Oh, I got an S rank. I got an S rank. Good enough. Good enough. Once you'd eliminated those Walker gears, a resupply call was made from Dutati to CFA headquarters. The CFA then contacted none other than Sainer. That's right, the shell company that owned Mfinda Oilfield. So Sainer was just a front for Cypher. The resupply won't be happening just yet. But we did learn that the Walker gears are transported out of Nova Braga Airport. Apparently there's a distribution oh, okay, network on the next mission that we're doing. PF outposts. Pretty much what we gotta do is stealth through that. If Cypher is supplying PFs with Walker gears, the PFs have to be offering them something in return. We follow the money trail. We might just find ourselves on Cypher's doorstep. Yeah, so we're just gonna sit here and see if there's another cutscene coming up, and then I'll probably end it. If there isn't, if there isn't, okay, there isn't. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.